everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Andy Michelle and I just wanted to do this look today this is a very glam out fall look this is good for when you're going out you're going on a party a wedding a fall moment on a date with your girlfriends you want to just look super cute um this is a lot of a, like it's a very coppery burgundy eye with a burgundy lip it's a full-on makeup this is not something perhaps if you just want to be natural this is not it but I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying, I talk a lot. I talk a lot and I'm going to see how this works. Maybe I'll do one of those silent videos where like I'll just do makeup and I'll talk over it. I don't know. But as long as we're here, I hope you enjoy it. You better subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Follow me at Andy Michelle. Thumbs up and enjoy the video. Bye. Okay, so let's get to it. I always like to start with my eyes. And I will start with the NYX Eye Primer. Now, I always suggest you wearing a primer because by priming your eyelids, it allows the color to really um, show and display on your photos, on just everything. And this is an eye primer that is about $4 on NYX. Now, the color you can see is like a skin nude color. And that's what I usually prefer for my eye base. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with Makeup Forever. This is the M660 shadow. And we're just going to create, like, I like to have warm colors on the crease. Because it just makes your shadow look more, like, blended. It gives it life. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills in color Espresso. And this we're going to do on the corner. And I'm staying, you're seeing, I like to stick with the same brush because I don't know, that's just, that's just my, my preference. However, when you do makeup, it's very different when you're doing your own makeup than when you're doing a makeup on a client. Super, super different. Because you already know the your face, the shape of your eyes. And I'm just taking it on, on the outer, outer corner. Okay? Just the outer corner of your eyes then I usually like to take one of my favorite brushes which is Morphe Morphe E23 and that is just to like clean it up there's absolutely nothing in the brush so I just like to blend it in blend it in even like just to make it look flawless so now I'm going to go on the palette, the Naked palette. Ooh, so beautiful. And I'm going to be using the color Kanye. Haha, <laughs> Kanye. To go all over the lid. The lid. Okay. You see? Ooh. Now I am going to add low blow right here this color low blow a little bit more on the crease i'm going again with low blow and this brush that i'm using is the morphe m441 now guys I have so many brushes like from so many different companies but Morphe is just one that I absolutely love because first of all it's very inexpensive and it does the job very wonderfully like my brushes have lasted me a very long time and I use them on the daily okay if the Morphe G18 it's like a very blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the color Fuego 
fuego is right here. But fuego, I'm only gonna do on the outer corners. So like, just slightly on the outer corners like this. Done. And last but not least, we are gonna go in with lumber. This shade, this shade right here, lumber is like a glittery. See my eye, my liner, my liquid liner. This is Sephora. It's called Precious Precision Precision Black Liner. Guys, I love this liner. You you guys don't understand. Like this liner is life. Especially because of like the brush. The brush has a lot to do with how your line comes out. And honestly, this is my favorite. This is my favorite liner. And I was so sad because I think it discontinued on Sephora. Personally, I like to start from the from the inner corner out. Each person has their different preferences. Do you see how precise this thing is? Like, I absolutely love it. I love it. But you could use whatever technique works for you. I know for some people, gel like gel liners works better. Other people just like like the markers type type of liners. And you just have to do what works best for you. I prefer liquid liner. Personally, don't invest in like $30 mascara. Like, you do not need, like this right here. This is the ACMA from L'Oreal. Like L'Oreal, and maybe it was like five bucks because I got it on sale. So it was like five bucks. And I never invest on like really expensive mascara because the formula is usually the same. For once, it's how you're applying it. Like if you notice, I'm applying, it's like a fight with your lashes and the mascara. So if I'm going with my mascara to upwards, your lashes should be going downwards. So like you're fighting against it. And that's why you're curling your lashes as you're placing it. So for example, I am placing it and I am fighting with my mascara wand. As it goes up, uh, my lashes, eyes are going down. You know, you see? Right? You see? That's it. We're gonna put lashes. Huda Beauty. And this is in Scarlet number eight. These lashes are life, guys. Life. This is my dual glue. And I already have cut them to set around like my the size of my eye. The key for lashes is that it has to dry completely. Like if it's not dried, it's not gonna stick. So it's like almost drying when it works. You cannot do this on a client. If you have a client, you cannot blow on your lashes. It's just unsanitary and it's like you get a, like in school, you get in trouble for it. But honestly, don't invest on $23 mascara like your L'Oreal and Walgreens. Dwayne Reed mascara is totally fine. Is the, Honestly, is the way you apply it. So the secret to mascara is that you have to let it dry a little bit. When it's too watery, um, is you, you notice that your lashes start going downwards. So you let it dry a little bit, and then like I told you, you do a coat of mascara, you wait, and then the other coat is when you really see them pop, okay? So it's lash, no lash, lash, no lash. This is like if you're going like, oh, I wanna wear makeup, but I wanna look cute and natural. And this is like, oh, I wanna look full on glam, which is honestly 
Like this makeup look, I wouldn't do on my day to day. Like if you know me, I'd be looking like a bomb. But that's all totally okay with me. Okay, so now we have our lashes on. And this is just like the look. Now we're moving to the face. And for the face, I'm gonna be using my fresh. <laughs> Almost. Oh my god, this thing is so expensive. <sighs> Guys, I'm using the fresh vitamin, fresh vitamin nectar glow moisturizing face cream. Now, you guys hear me talk about this in my Insta stories, Snapchat, everywhere. But honestly, it's because this thing is amazing. I'm using my beauty blender just to soak it all in in my skin. I use this day and night. I absolutely love it. It's, it goes for $42 on Sephora. You could buy it online. And it just gives you a very glow, like a natural glow. Hydrating smells delicious. So I do recommend it. And no, I wasn't sponsored. I actually went and bought it because I kept hearing so much about it. And I was like, what is the big fuss about it? I'm going to try it and see if it's worth it. And I did, and I loved it. Okay, so now I am... <sighs> My AC was on and you lost this whole thing, but I was using the fresh to moisturize and I use a beauty blender just to like soak it all in. And now I'm going with my favorite, favorite hands down foundation. The HD, the Ultra HD Makeup Forever. I'm, I'm usually Y405, that's the color I usually use. And you'll see that the problem with my me and foundations is that I never find the color that suits me because I'm lighter in my face than the rest of my body. Actually, that makes no sense. I um, You notice my cheeks are very light, but then my forehead is like super dark. I don't know why. It's always been that way for me. It's always been that way for me. But I like this shade because it allows me to... You see how now it's like all sinking into one color and like slowly matching me that's why I like this color and like but I usually do mix my foundations when you mix foundations it's a lot better so much better so much better and I like the ultra HD because it's full coverage but it still looks like skin and to me you may not see it because my color is not varying but once you see the end result it goes very well so if you're not good with mixing or with bronzing and making it all together then that might be hard for you and you might really want to get the shade that you are to me this is this is my preference I am going in with the makeup forever concealer and I will be using this color right here that is worn out but that's because that's one of my favorites and I use it on the daily so basically, I just, I do like my highlighter to be a lot lighter than my, than my foundation. That is my preference. It doesn't have to be that way. People like it to be the same color. I honestly prefer it lighter. Once again, I'm repeating it. This is techniques that I use on myself personally when I'm doing someone else's makeup. It is not the same. Doing someone else's makeup is very, very different. And these are my preferences. Like, this is what I like for myself. And I'm just saying because when I went to makeup school, or when you speak to other makeup artists, like, I love everyone in the industry. Like, I really do. But why do we have to hate on people like sometimes i had like people that are professional makeup artists that are like our teachers or things like that and they really go trash some like influencers or instagrammers that like do their videos first of all doing videos and doing your makeup is so hard like if you're doing it on yourself in a mirror completely get it but doing it on like trying to like record look at the lighting like how am i looking like it's very difficult so you can like if you're like oh my god look how she blends look how she does that it's like 
please, are you gonna, like, you can't judge my skills according to what you see in a video. Like, I don't know. No one has said anything to me, which I don't really care, but let's not hate on people. And I mean, this is like, if you see that they're doing something and it's like, oh my God, that's so light on the bottom. That's how she likes it. That's how I like it. Like, let it be. I don't know. They were just like, they would show me like, this is what not to do. And then I was like, oh crap. Like, Instagram makeup is like, not makeup. And it is. It's like, it's what you like. No one can tell you, oh my God, like this is the right way or the wrong way to do it. Honestly, forget them. Now I'm going in and I'm contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And this is in medium. And I'm going to be using cinnamon. So this is cinnamon. And I'm going to just scrub that. And I like to contour from up to the middle of my cheekbone. And I just like warm colors, like very, like not too dark because I'm not too dark and your lines do not have to be perfect. We're not in kindergarten. People be going crazy and about how it's like, I'm gonna blend it in, like who cares? And I am going to use this for my nose. Then we will blend that in. So yeah, so I didn't, I honestly did not like that. I was like, why? Like, like, you can tell their makeup skills are bomb because hello, like, she does makeup and her work is pretty good. Some people that I'm like, are professionals and I just... Honestly, I don't like their work, but that's none of my business. Like, that makes her happy? Do it. Let's just not trash people. Like, I didn't understand how hard it was. Like, people, and I was like, but then you do you do Instagram or like YouTube videos? And they did not. So I'm using this um, Elf blending brush. What is it called? Small stipple brush. I got this for like three dollars and i absolutely love this brush for like blending contour it's like a very similar brush from mac that it's cost like 50 bucks the end and like that it makes it just be able to move move a lot smoother i know i'm saying a lot of things but <sighs> but this is my first video and i don't know how it's gonna look but we will make it work so you see how my face warmed up right away? Like, that's why. It's like, I don't, it doesn't bother me when my forehead does not matching my full foundation because it's gonna work. I know it is. It's not, it's like, that's the tricks of being a makeup artist. Honestly, it is. You don't have the, you, you cannot own everyone's foundation. That's when mixing comes in. That's when you highlight, contour. When you make it, you use different powders to make the, the person look just flawless. So, and that just comes with time. Like, you don't, I didn't have that when I started. I, I learned that in the job when I had to go to work once and I didn't have a foundation and I was like, Car I was like, what am I going to do now? What? Now I got these brushes on Amazon. I don't know where they're from. Super cheap, it was like seven bucks for 20 brushes, but I love this one. I had this for like four years now. And this is what I use basically for blending in the contour of my nose. I don't always contour my nose because there are not some people love it. Like they go crazy all out on Instagram. Like I said, I'm if you love it do it makeup supposed to be fun like i don't know why people created so many rules about it there are some rules there are like about knowing your the skin type and certain things like blending like that i will tell you there's nothing more than it upsets me <laughs> that upsets me but as an artist it like bothers me like people just make a line and don't even blend it that's like i want to just grab a brush and blend it for them like but anyways Blending, 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 blending. You see? And it does make my, my nose look a lot smaller. And my color is like one right now, right? 
I like it like this. It's my preference. You don't need to like it. I'm going to set all of this up with powder now. Now, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Super Loose Matte Powder. And I love, this is like crack for me. I love it. So you just usually grab a little bit like that on the top. And not always, but for the most time. I don't like to bake like heavy duty, like underneath the eye and just leave the powder there. Personally, I don't do it because you have you seen that in photos, it looks really white. That's why I don't do it. But then there's days that I really want my makeup to last me all day that I won't care and I will definitely do it. And I just do it on this area because you want to always conceal it so you don't have creases underneath your eyes. And this makes it just very smooth than when you're using a very big fluffy brush. Then I use this brush for like my forehead. You don't want to overdo it on your powder either. And right here. A little bit here. Just a tiny bit. See? You can just go like this if you want. Or if you're like me and you want to go like heavy duty. Like cheekbones, contour. Then you do what I do. This is the, the Hula Benefit bronzer. This is one of the top rating bronzers that I had to get it because it was like, why is it talk about? Like everyone kept talking about it. And then I got it and I was like, crap, you're right. So, for your bronzer, pay attention, please. <laughs> you sound like a teacher, a bossy teacher. Pay attention. You want to go from your cheekbone up when you're contouring. Not from your cheekbone down. Like, I see people going here. No, my love. From here up. You want to create the cheekbone. You don't want to create, like, a, you have a beard. The beard effect. Like, all of this. No. It's just this part you're contouring your face. You want your cheekbones to stand out, right? So that's why you start from here up. I like to use a slanted brush. You see this brush? This is a Sephora brush. I don't remember how much it was because I bought it like seven years ago and I love this brush. So grab a little bit. Don't overdo it. And from here up. I like to smile because it just curves my cheekbones even more. No cheekbone, cheekbone. No cheekbone, cheekbone. And the same thing this way. So I smile and it's up. Up. Again, I'm holding my brush from the end. Always grab it from the end. Some people are like, they have very sh like lines and it's because they're not grabbing their brushes properly. See? And I'm carving my cheekbones. I have a very round face. So uh, for when you have a round face, you want to contour only here. Well, actually, when you have a round face like me, here, here, your forehead, and underneath. If slightly, take it all the way here. You see how here it's not blended? I have to blend that. And that's because when you're recording, it's very hard when you're looking at yourself in tiny mirrors than your actual mirror, which is fine. Then all you do, you grab a fluffy brush and you blend, 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 blend. I always blend. The key, the game, the name of the game, guy, is called blend. Please blend. Okay, a name party. Such a cute pink color tone. This is what it looks like. If you don't know yet, I love slanted brushes. I love these brushes for blush, for contour, everything. So, when you're smiling, guys, do not do your blush all the way over here. No, from your cheekbone here. It should be always two fingers separating from your blush to from your nose, okay? So that means you're starting here up, okay? See?
I'm missing the underneath. I like to put shadow here because it makes my eyes look pretty. So again, I'm going to grab the shadow that I have on my lid, which is Lumber. This is it, Lumber. And I'm literally going to just grab that. And with, I'm going to line my, my lips with Aqua Lip from Makeup Forever. And this is in color... Oh, there's not a color. It's called 10C. And then I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics. I'm probably saying it wrong. And this is in called Plum Crazy. So Plum Crazy. And... And we are almost done with this look. The last thing we gotta do is just highlight. This is the Bobbi Brown in Bronze Gold. Wow, Bronzy Gold. Oh my God. <laughs> Brown, Bronzy Glow. It's called Bronzy Glow. Bronzy Glow, Bobbi Brown. And I'm using the Morphe M509. I'm gonna list all details below. And when you're highlighting, you I like to smile. And you highlight, highlight. Ooh. Ooh, you see? You see the difference? The little glow? That's what highlighter does, guys. Some people don't know what highlighter does. And it's like, <laughs> highlighter is the greatest invention of all time. Like, I'll just wear highlighter and that's all I had. And I like to... I like heavy duty highlighter. That's just me because I am very extra. It's not news. I like to go in with my nose, like a little bit with in the nose, just to like make my nose look tinier. Well, okay, it's not tiny, so make it look tiny. Right? Some people like this, some people hate it, but I like it on the inner corner of my eye. See that? Gives you a little bit of a pop. I like it right here on top of... Some people hate it, some people like it. It's your preference, that's it. And this is it before I forget. This is Elf Mad Magic Mist and Set. And we're just gonna spray away to make this makeup last. And I do, if you see my videos, I love Elf because they're very economical and certain things are amazing. Not everything, but there are a lot of things like their brushes, their primers, this bomb. And we are done. This is the end result, the end look. I hope you liked it and enjoyed. And I will see you here soon. Bye guys, have a wonderful day.